Today I'm going to quickly show you how you can copy text, pages or whole sections from the content library into your own pages. The reason you might do this is that there is an activity in the uh, content library that you would like to complete in your own pages. You might take the whole page if there are sections of text that you want to highlight and keep for your notes. You might take a whole section uh, if you were trying to catch up on work for instance and you needed it in quick access from your own pages. So we're going to head over to the content library. Within this content library, you can see our lessons. So if I'm going to do today's lesson, I might firstly just want to have the learning goal and success criteria at the top of my page so that I know what I need to focus on. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. So left click and highlight all of that. Now, rather than right clicking and pressing copy like you might in other programs, we're going to press the control C, the control key and C. Okay. Now if you're on a Mac, that might be command C. We're going to then head up and go into the page with our name on it. Okay. I might put down here, I think it was week one, lesson one click where I want my, my text to be and then I'm going to press control or command V. Okay, so they're right there beside each other, control C, control V. And that's how we copy a simple piece of text. If I go back into that content library and look at today's information, I realize there's lots of activities in here for me to do. There's a table here as well. So I could simply copy that table across or if I want to have all of the information, I can come across here to lesson one. Okay, this time you can just right click. So right click on it. You want to copy. Okay, make sure you're just pressing the copy, not the link. Copy. Come up, head over to your pages where you want it. So I want it to be in unit one. I'm going to right click over here where the pages go and I'm going to press paste. And that's going to give me all of the lesson data that I need. Now, if you do that for every single lesson, it's going to take a long time to sync for the notebook because there are lots of images in here, for instance. So if you've realized you've done your activity and you've finished, it's a good idea to then come back and delete any images and especially if there are videos, make sure you delete videos that you don't need from your individual pages. Otherwise it will slow down for everyone when they're trying to sync it. The last thing I want to show you is how to copy a whole section. So it might be that you've been working, you're working through your content and you might miss a week and think, oh, I need to go back and have that work and make sure that I, I have a look at all of that. So up the top here on the tab, you want to right click and you have the option here to move or copy. So we want to press on move or copy. I obviously have lots of notebooks in mine, but make sure that you're in the notebook that, that you want. Find your name. and which unit you want it to go into. Now that may look a little different for you. And as you can see, these ones here are read only. I can't paste into there because they're Mr. Campbell's. So unit one and copy. And then when I go back across into my name, I will see unit one, week two. Okay, so unit one is the one that I was just working in. Week two is the tab that I copied across. Okay, so you can move those around if you want it in a different order, if it's in a different spot to where you want it. Otherwise, you have the section there. If you don't need a section, you simply right click and you can delete it. Be very careful when doing that and don't delete the pages that your teacher has sent you, okay, because they might need to distribute work to those later on. I hope this has been helpful. If you need some help, 
please make sure you email the address on the final slide. Thanks.